So if we think about what techniques parents could potentially use to help their child or young person following following a burglary. Parents naturally have um, a reaction to the trauma of burglary as well so it's important to keep in mind your reaction um, and the things that parents are saying and doing following that crime. Um, children are quite susceptible to that and it can heighten anxiety sometimes if parents stop talking about it. I think sometimes parents think that after a while the best thing to do is maybe not to talk about it anymore so that the family can move forward but often you've got children and young people who continue then to hold in their their anxieties and their worries and their questions about the burglary and what might happen in the future because they don't hear adults talking about it so what they think is that that actually the best thing is for them not to talk about it either and um, you often then can see other effects coming out and other emotions and changes in behaviour so it's important that parents give children an opportunity regularly to bring up any questions or concerns that they've got openly. Sometimes you have children who might feel guilty following a burglary so they might feel that part of why that happened is their fault so for example it might be that a door or a window was left open it's really important that parents address this and they try not to put any negative emotions around that and they give lots of reassurance that what they are concerned about is the child and the family's safety and not, not the financial loss. So they, that it ensures that that child doesn't carry that guilt and that doesn't further affect them following the crime. We've mentioned that sometimes uh, children's behaviour and emotions change at school and they might not be able to concentrate on schoolwork and that might become affected. It might be a good idea for, uh, for parents to speak to school um, about what's happened to let them know that the home has been burgled so that teachers can keep an eye on children and parents can bring teachers and other staff in the school on board who also know the child to uh, be able to work with them and to give them that constant reassurance when they are away from parents also. It might be also an idea to, to bring in some neighbourhood policing staff. So you might, for example, want to request that PCSOs visit the house following a burglary so that they can also back up the messages that parents have been given about the security and the safety of the home and they can give that reassurance from, from a policing point of view also.